Hey everybody, my name is Glenn Schofield and I'm the general manager of Visceral Games. And this year, we're really excited to be coming out with a game made exclusively for the Wii. It's called Dead Space Extraction. It features an all new story, all new characters, and some brand new mechanics. Damn, has this thing ever been used? Working on the Nintendo Wii was a pretty exciting thing for us. We were excited about the unique controls and what they brought to the gamer. So when we sat down to build the game, we made sure we always had a Wii remote and a nunchuck in our hands as we figured out what controls felt natural and most fun for the game. One of the new features that we're bringing to Dead Space Extraction is uh, actually exclusive to the Wii, and we call it the glow worm. So there's going to be places in the game where it goes pitch black, really terrifying. Of course, you can always just shake that Wii remote, and for about 10 to 12 seconds, you cast this really eerie green light around your surroundings. Great for seeing enemies coming out of the darkness, try and find power-ups, and uh, find your way around the Ishimura and the planet's surface. Calm down. For all we know, that feed could be from the colony. You don't really believe that. Another cool thing that you can do with the Wii Remote, I think, is the way we're using Alt Fire is by rotating the Wii Remote 90 degrees. So it's a really nice way that we can get basically two functions out of every weapon in the game without having to sign it to another weapon. I don't feel so good. Your nose is beautiful. Nathan, she's very pale. Can we stop for a moment? No time. Man up, sweetheart. One of our big goals with the game was to make sure that we had unique control methods for people that wanted to play with the Wii Remote and the Nunchuck, or those that really wanted to use their Zapper. So we really focused on making sure that the Zapper controls felt just as good as the normal Wii Remote and Nunchuck controls feel. There you can see a melee attack being executed, and that's performed by just simply slashing your Nunchuck left to right or up and down. That'll actually perform a melee strike. Go, go! Hit it! I did! What you can see here is one of the many puzzles found in Dead Space Extraction. We really wanted to make sure the puzzles felt interactive for both players, so what we've done is we actually make the players coordinate together. From each section of the puzzle, it alternates from player one to player two. What this does is focus one player to fend off the enemies while the other player is working on the puzzle, and then they have to switch back and forth. We have to keep them out. Grab that sheet and plug it over the hatch. Move. In this scene, you're actually using your rivet gun to rivet these panels into place. The idea is you're blocking the necromorphs from entering the scene through the vent. And the way that that's done is simply rotating your Wii remote and shooting rivets into each of those corners of the panels, the little areas that are lighting up. It's an interesting way to use your weapon as a tool and also a good way to stop the necromorphs from attacking you. Making a game for the Nintendo Wii presented all kinds of unique challenges. We didn't want to get into a situation where we were making the player wave their hands all over the place all the time for nonsensical reasons. We wanted to make sure when you're actually doing a gesture, it resonates with what you're doing in the game. And we feel pretty happy about what we've done on the system.